Hi, I'm Lee from Avanta Software. Today we're going to jump into Avanta Designer and then we're going to create a steel ladder beam from scratch using our building objects. Then we're going to attach it to a part within our material master and then we're going to save it in our stencils so we can drag and drop it and use it whenever we need it. Let's get started. gone ahead and open up a fresh drawing page this can be done in any system scaffolding drawing page all we're going to do is create it and save it into a stencils for later on I've already gone ahead and measured out the size of my ladder beam I've measured out for my center pieces already so I've gone from 100 from end and then every 400 and 100 from end as well to create the beam I need to pull in the beam itself Fill out this dialog box, so I'm going to keep it as a free meter. The start elevation, I'm going to keep it on my drawing page for now. This is going to be my bottom rail, the bottom tube. I need to change it from a box to a tube. For this, I need to change it to the size of my tube. So this is going to be 48.3 millimeters. It's going to be the same for the width. The wall thickness is the thickness of the tube itself. So it's going to be four millimeters. I want it from the bottom. So any time it references, it references from the drawing page to bottom of my tube. I don't need to change anything else at the minute. Click apply, click OK. I'll put that roughly where I've marked out. Now I've got my bottom tube, I need my top tube. So I'm just going to hover over it, click control, and you'll see a plus sign in your mouse indicator. Once you do that, click left on your mouse and then just drag away and it'll create a second. Put that back where I need it. That's that one. Now for this tube, I need to go back in and I'm going to set the height of this tube. So it needs to be 360 millimeters, 360 millimeters. Everything else stays the same. Click apply, click OK. And that's my top tube. I need to create my center pieces now. So I'll click on the bottom tube again. I need to make a copy of this. So using control again. And now for this, I'm going to shrink it down. So I'm just going to place it on top of each other like that. Get me top tube. I'm just going to drag that onto my other tube. Let me scroll in a bit. Make sure it's on. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Right. For this small piece now, I'm going to click in. This needs to be project length. It needs to be zero. So my start elevation. So it's on my drawing page to my end elevation, which is the top of the tube. What I need to do is add about 20 to 25 mil. So it's off my drawing page by 20 to 25 mil because I want it to be in the center of my tube. Because if I do it zero and I'll change this to three, six millimeters, click apply, click OK. And then I drag this over to where I want it. Let me just straighten them tube up first. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I grab my tube, put it where my first indicator needs to be there now if i look into my model view as you can see in my model view you can see my tube is sticking out the bottom which i don't want to see so i need to raise it up about 20 to 25 mil and then i need to add 20 to 25 mil to the top so it sits in the middle where them lines are of my center of my tube click on it again so start elevation i'll go for 25 mil and then i need to add 25 millimeters to this so it'd be three, eight, five millimeters. So whatever you take here, what you add onto the bottom needs to be added onto the top. Click apply, click OK. There you go. So that looks more like a ladder beam. Just need to tweak it in a bit. So let me zoom in a bit more. I'm happy with that. Right, so what I need to do now is put my center pieces in. Hover over it, click control and click about there. Let me just move that all the way across. Roughly about there. Oh, I didn't copy that time, so I'll put that one back. All I'm doing, obviously because it's moving my page for me, get the piece I want and then drag it to edge. It moves the page along for you. Put that there, same again. Obviously you can take your time and make this a bit more neater, but this is just to show you 
what needs to be done. I've still not copied that correctly. Let's do that again. Right, so there are all my pieces together. Let's have another look in the model view. So, I'm missing one, which is that one there. So, copy that piece. Let me zoom in, make sure they are all in line. I'm happy with that. That looks okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So there you go, I've created my ladder beam. I am happy. Everything looks all right. I can t Obviously you can go through and tweak everything, make sure everything's perfectly in line for you. But I'm happy with that. Let me zoom out. What I need to do now is highlight all the parts of the beam, right click and group. So this is all one piece now. Now it's all one piece, I can go into building objects. In here, I can reference this to a part. So my part numbers, this is all my parts with my material master. So I can use my filter to search. Bridging beams, ladder beam, three meter ladder beam. I know this is 300, but obviously I've done it at 360. So I click it. Click OK. So that's reference to me part within my bill of materials. OK, I'm going to change the color. So I'm, I'm going to have this as purple. I don't need to do anything else at the minute. Click OK. So this now is referenced. I've changed the color so I can see it a bit more better in my drawing when I create it. What I'm going to do now is save it to my stencils. Click OK and it's changed the name. This is going to be three meter LD beam. 3 meter ladder beam, click out, there you go, let's make sure it is working within my bill of materials, there you go, ladder beam, 3 meter, created, I'm happy with everything, I'm going to save it, okay, so now that is saved, so every time I open my drawing page up, this ladder beam will be available, and I can just drag and drop, and place it on my drawing page whenever I need it, okay, and if there's anything you'd like to go through in more detail, please comment below. I hope this helped you out on how to create a ladder beam from scratch, how to save it into your stencils as well as reference it to a part. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe for more content to come. Thanks for watching.